Hello and happy Friday. I hope you're doing well. This is Fluke Fridays. This is episode number 32. And today what we're going to be going over is the cheapest way that I know of to log three-phase current. Um, we're going to be going over that. We're also going to be going over the whole uh, series of the Fluke 3000 FC series, uh, talking about the modules and stuff. I have some of them here in front of me. I'll show some of them uh, screenshots later. But Let's get into it so you can see at least one kit that I have with me. Um, this is gonna be the industrial kit. It comes with three uh, single function current lo AC current loggers, single function AC voltage logger, and uh, a multimeter. And then the assorted accessories that come with it as well. So here we go. So you got your multimeter, and then you can see we've got your A3001 FC, as well as two others of those, and one of your V3000 FC. You can see they're slightly different because this one's just going to do AC voltage, and this one's going to do AC current with the iFlex. Obviously, the iFlex comes with each of the current CTs. So, um, couple ways you can use any of these um, there's also temperature logging temperature logging uh, like a k-type thermocouple one as well there's some DC current AC uh, DC voltage and there's a couple other AC current um, options as well I believe I can link the data sheet below or um, the website for this so anyways um, what you're gonna see is how all of them work, you're gonna turn them on with the power button. If you want to connect them via Bluetooth, you can do this and connect it to your smartphone. I'll show that here in a second. Or you can hit this and with the multimeter you get with it, the 3000 FC, you can turn that on, hit the wireless button as well. You can see it's looking for it. Let's do the, turn the backlight on. And here in a second, they should pop up. There's one of them. The voltage popped up. The other doesn't pop up, just, let's see. So we can select it. You can hold that down to make it go live. Now we get a live reading side by side. Oh, that's current, sorry. Here's our voltage one, yep. ID number two, ID number two. Let's see if we can get this one to work. Okay, now we got them both. So you see ID number one, ID number two, so you can select it, turn it black, and you can do this with up to three modules. Let's see if I can turn on another one and get it to come up too. ID number one, ID number two, ID number three. Okay, now I got all three of them. So then you just select, scroll, select, scroll, select, and you can wait and it'll turn it, or you can hold the up down arrow for two or three seconds and it'll automatically go into live readings. So we'll leave it like this. I'll hook these up to a, to a demo board and we can actually see them change voltage and current. And this is if you wanna hook it up to your multimeter. Later, I'll also show you how you can hook it up to your phone. See that? There we go. And then with voltage. And we've got that. Okay. So you can see voltage on both screens. You can see current 
with these CTs. Okay, and how they all match up. So that's one way you can do it. Another way, if we uh, turn this off, disconnect it, you can get a smartphone out, pull up your pull up your Flute Connect app, then you can say connect. Okay. Uh, there we go. Should be more showing up. Oh, there we go. So now we're going to be able to see all three of these. And you can actually see more than that on the phone. I think with the iPhone, you can see up to 10 different readings. And with this device, I think you can see, I think with Android, you can see six, if I remember correctly. So we got all four show up. Connect, connect, connect. Um, yes. So then it can show it to you in three phase and voltage. Obviously, if you have more voltage, it can put that into three phase as well. And so you can do logging with this, right? Now, each of these has their own logger. So you can hit log. And you can see the memory that's starting to log. And I think it's like 60,000 points. You can hit log on each of these. You can also so if you want to log, you can click on one of these, this little down arrow. You get some information and you can do a logging interval and you can actually change this. So if you don't want it to, you can see it's set to one minute for like the averaging size, you can actually change this to, you know, once per second or whatever. And you can even change the name of these guys. So the one that's test is ID number four, which is this guy. Okay, and we can hit log over here. If we hit log on this button, it'll start logging over here. See the logging. So I'll let this log for a little bit and I will um, change the, I'll change the, the current going to it so that we can see it. And I'll download one of these files later on the computer so you can actually see, see what we're doing. Um, let's see if I can. Watch this trend together. Whoop. Kind of fun. Okay. I hope hope that's helpful for everyone you guys how to download this here in a little bit um, on the computer and show you some of the pictures of the other devices you can get in this the cool thing is it's a very flexible so you can obviously buy this kit but then you can also buy the individual modules so if you wanted to like log just a single phase current you could do that or if you want to log 10 different places of current single phase or three different places of current you could do that and this is really the cheapest way to do it now you do have to monkey around with it in the software and downloading it and stuff which is i don't know if i would say super time consuming but it does take some effort versus you know flukes energy loggers that are designed for three phase voltage and current you put them all into one thing it's got software that's going to help you compute kilowatts and all that other stuff whereas this is just going to give you an excel or a cvs uh, CSV file that you can then export and manipulate yourself. Now, I do think this has been logging long enough that I can um, download the current. So I'll show you guys how I do that. 
So you hit the little down arrow, you're gonna hit stop logging, you're gonna hit download, and obviously this won't take very long because it was a pretty short logging session. Okay, download successful, and it's gonna trend it, and that's where we're monkeying around with the, the current. And then from here, you can actually email yourself. Um, let me see if I can, I think you have to hit this little three icon and then um, I want to, yes, I'll get the graph. Send as text, send as CSV, that's what I want. Okay, next. Um, whoop. Let's try that again. CSV, next. Okay, I'm back in the office and I thought I'd just show you guys. I emailed it to myself and you can see in the email, um, for some reason I got two recordings. You see one's really little, one's a little bit bigger. The, the bigger one is the one that we had recorded for one uh, interval once per second, and we did it for about a minute. So I just double click that, and then it downloaded, and I opened up this file. And you can see when you adjust it, you can see the name of the tool. Remember, we called it test, so we have that right there. You can see some of the data, the, the information you would care about. The start time for the logging session, the stop time for the logging session. It went for about two minutes and how many readings we captured, okay? And then if you look down here, this is the table of all of the things, um, all of the readings. Again, you have start time, um, not overly exciting, but then you have your measurements over here. Column E is your current readings or your measurements, so you can see that, your max reading. Then F is your average, and uh, H is your minimum. And what you'll see is, and this is kind of cool if you have long, longer intervals, obviously we just had one second intervals, but if you, let's say these were like 10 minute intervals or five minute intervals or even a minute interval, it would tell you what down to the second within that minute or down to the second within that 10 minutes that your max time happened or your min time happened. Now, this would be a single phase obviously of current and you could get, you could then tr graph depending on how good you are in Excel, you could then graph your, um, what do you call it, The graph your readings over time. Let me do this real quick. And you can see here's when we started monkeying around with it and making the voltage or the current go up and down. And you can see how it increases here. Okay. So this is probably one of the more exciting seconds where you have a, a minimum that's quite a bit different than the maximum because it was in the middle of swinging within that one second, okay? So you can log this, and again, this is the least expensive, or least expensive way of logging multiple phases. What you'd get if you had three phases, you'd have three different uh, Excel charts, you'd have to cut and paste, but then you could have, you know, a graph for phase one, a graph for phase two, and a graph for phase three, uh, depending on how good you are at Excel. I'm not going to go over that in this video, but I hope this gives you an idea of what you can do with the 3000 series, and you don't have to only do current. You can do voltage, AC, or DC, depending on which module you get. You can do temperature, and you can do um, volt or um, voltage, current, and temperature, both AC and DC, and then temperature right, with a K-type thermocouple. And I think that's all that you can do. There are there is something that will do DC milliamps um, if you're in that 4 to 20 world and you want to log with that as well. And you get a similar readout if you did a logging session. So, anyways, I hope this is helpful. I think this is a really useful tool um, if and a series of tools from Fluke. And you just need to figure out and play with it a little bit. It has a lot of interface with both your phone, being able to get it out in the field and download it, email it to somebody back in the office, email it to yourself, and... Uh, a lot of flexibility. So if you have any questions about this, uh, the 3000 modules and how they work or 
you just want more information, uh, I didn't go into something in enough detail in this video, leave your comments and questions below. Also, if you have any other ideas for videos, leave those below and like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Thanks and uh, have a great week.